Hello and welcome. Here's how to install the Chrome browser on the Chromecast with Google TV. There are a few steps we need to follow, so I'll just quickly outline them now so you know what to expect. We're going to enable the developer mode on the Chromecast, then install an app called File Commander. We'll allow that app to install untrusted apps. The app we'll get is from a reputable source, so don't worry. Um, we'll then go to the phone. That can be iPhone, Android, even a computer. And what we want to do is install the Google Drive. Sign into the Google Drive with the same Google account as you have on the TV. Then we'll go to a browser on the phone or computer. Um, download and save the Chrome install to the Google Drive. Then we'll come back to the TV, open up the file commander, then go to the Google Drive from there and install Chrome. So yeah, there's a few steps required, but it's really not that hard. It doesn't take that long as you'll see. One thing I'll say straight off the bat, just so you know, in my opinion, Chrome doesn't work that well with the standard remote control. Um, it's virtually unusable, in my opinion. It works great with uh, other Bluetooth controllers, but I just want to let you know straight off, just set your expectations as well. Um, I'll let you know a good browser towards the end. So, I think I've spoken enough. Let's just get started. Um, we're going to go across to settings. Then we go to system. Then about and go down the list until you get to Android TV OS build and just keep tapping this and you'll see eventually it will say you are now a developer. Great. Press the home button and we'll do a voice search to install the file commander. So press and hold the voice control button. Install file commander. Here's file commander, file manager and free cloud on the Google Play Store. Click install. This will just take a minute. We can go home from here. So I just pressed the home button. Next we'll allow the install of untrusted apps. So back to settings. Then down to apps. Security and restrictions down towards the bottom. Unknown sources and you'll see file commander and just toggle that on. So great, we've done the first part. Now we'll turn our attention to the phone. As you can see, I've installed the Google Drive here. I went to the App Store, did a search for Google Drive and installed it. When you open it up, just make sure you're signed in with the same Google account as you are signed in on the TV. Next up, we'll go to the browser and any browser is fine. Type in apkmirror.com. This is a legitimate um, download site, so you don't need to worry. Um, what we're going to do is search for Chrome. And this is going to bring us back many different versions. Now, we're looking for a, a safe and stable version and one which is an APK. So let's just go through this list. Um, we can ignore all of these. We'll go to the next page. Scroll down and keep an eye out for fast and secure. This is the version that works. Now it gives us four variants, it says, and none of these are APK, so just keep going. And then we have seven more variants, so we can select this, scroll down again, and this time we can see some APK files. Um, I go for the latest version, which is an Android 7, although we're Android 10, this is the latest here. And we want the version which is ARM64-VAA plus ARM EABI V7A. And you can see it's an APK, so let's just select that. We'll scroll down again. Gives us some information about the install and we'll select download APK. Do you want to download it? We'll say yes. And you can see just up here, it's downloading. So we'll just give that a minute. All right, it's now downloaded. So just press the download button, select the download. We get an option to share. Then you'll see the Google Drive here. If you don't, click more and add Google Drive. Select the account, select upload. And this will now be uploaded to the Google Drive. 
Next up, back to the TV. When your phone has completed the upload to the Google Drive, go to your apps and have a look for File Commander. If you don't see it, go right to the end to see all and it should be at the end. When this opens up, it asks us to continue. Then sign in with cloud, so select cloud. Just say allow here. Use the cursor to come down to Google Drive. It wants to sign in with the account on the TV. And then go to my drive. Here we'll see the file we uploaded from the phone. Now we'll go to install it. This takes a couple of minutes. Do you want to install this application? Install. App installed, open. As mentioned, using the standard remote control isn't very easy with this Chrome browser. Um, you can see if I try and do a search, it wants to do a voice search. That doesn't work properly. I'm trying to move the cursor around. It's just not behaving as I would expect. Um, if I contrast that with a PlayStation 4 controller I have connected, you can use the little touchpad at the top here to get a cursor. Um, you can click into this search box here. Um, you get the keyboard, you can type away. So definitely if you have a uh, Bluetooth controller, keyboard, etc., you should be fine with this, but just with the standard remote, it's not great. Um, an alternative browser to this is the Puffin browser. Um, you can get that from doing a search for Puffin browser and install, that works perfectly well. Uh, one other thing I will mention is the installed file. Now, most files go to your apps line up here, but with this Chrome, it doesn't. Um, you'll locate it when you go to settings, then down to apps, go to see all apps, and then you'll see Chrome here. Now, I don't know why it comes here to be absolutely honest. I'm looking into it. If I find out why, I'll leave it in the comments, but you just go to open and that opens the browser from there. So let me know in the comments below what you think of the Chrome browser. Did you install it? Do you have a, a specific controller that you use, which you'd recommend? Um, let me know that and any other things which are around Chrome so we can share it as a community. Thanks very much for choosing my video. If you've liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much with the algorithm. Thanks very much for choosing my video and have a great day ahead.